And it really, really helps when you wake up in the morning to make that decision that the day will be dedicated to presence, you know, to being here and now. That's going to expand the consciousness. Marishi Kapriti, Namaskar. Namaskar. When I do things like in my day to day life and I try to tune in to source, with some actions it's quite easy and with others I face more difficulties or almost can't do it. For example, unloading the dishwasher is a thing where very easily. I tune in, I'm aware of each glass that I take and the sound it makes, and I feel a solid being tuned in. With other things, I almost can't do it. My thoughts go here and there. And I'm interested in knowing why is it sometimes easier and with other actions, I almost can't tune in. Each system, each person has a certain socialized rejection of certain activities. In other words, you are taught as you grow up, this is a horrible thing, it's not fun to do, this is something great, it's really great to do, it's fun to do. So the more something that you're doing is something you don't like to do, the greater the chance that you will bring yourself to this present moment, simply because you want to get away from it as fast as possible. What also happens is, is that it is a build-up. So you start with five actions in a day, where you actually try to literally bring yourself to this present moment. And when you're in this present moment, you are tuned in automatically. So, as you train yourself you will start to do that in those situations which are also pleasant for you. Emptying the dishwasher is not something you're just, I mean, looking forward to. It's a chore that you have to do. So it's easier for the system to come into the present tense because you want to move out of that as fast as possible. But when you're in a situation, maybe you're lounging with some friends in a bar or something, then it's much more difficult to come to the present tense because you're letting go of yourself. So you train by first bringing yourself to the present tense, to this moment and into a tuned-in state. In those actions which are chores and you gradually shift it into those actions that are also pleasant, that are also fun and so on. And that's how you build up, it's a build up, it's a training, it's like building a muscle. The more you, the more you train your muscle, the more muscle you'll have. It's exactly the same thing. And it really, really helps when you wake up in the morning to make that decision that the day will be dedicated to presence, you know, to being here and now that's going to expand the consciousness. It will give transformative experiences, it will give you a uniform experience, it will suddenly bring you into the pluriform and you're looking at the entire universe with knowing. And it just happens suddenly, because you are in the present moment. Those experiences cannot happen if you're not in the present moment, they cannot happen. The only experience you have when you leave the present moment are cosmic experiences, but those experiences take you away from your system, they take you out of the body, they take you away, so then you are not actually in a state of presentness, you're out there. That will not expand the consciousness, it will give you a cosmic experience, but it won't give you an experience of an expanded consciousness in the here and the now. And those of you who have followed this teaching have this experience, you yourself have this experience. 
that suddenly you have an experience which you could not imagine is at all possible in this life. And it happens. And why? Because you're bringing yourself to this present moment, even in those situations where you don't have to conquer something, where you're just training yourself. No, here, now, here, now, here, now, 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 here, 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 and in tune, in tune, in tune. Because in this present moment, you're in tune with the Soul. That is the truth of this moment. 